In this video, we will make a sound reactive LED. We will learn how it works, the theory behind it, and why each component is there. So as you can see, as I'm talking, the LED is turning on. So I hope you enjoy this video, and if you do, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So as you may have noticed, in this circuit diagram, there are a lot of voltage dividers. So for example, this right here is a voltage divider, and this right here is a voltage divider. A voltage divider is where there are two resistors in series, just like this. And if you don't know what series in parallel is, you can check out my video on Ohm's Law in the description. So we have here the 10 kilo ohm resistor is like this. It takes positive voltage and negative voltage. It brings them together like this. And then it stops at the node right here and an output is fed off. So basically it takes a regulated voltage, combines the positive and negative together, and then it creates a smaller voltage at its node right there. There are a lot of these in the circuit because sometimes you don't want a certain amount of voltage and you want it to drop, increase, or decrease. So that is why in a lot of circuits that you need to use these voltage dividers. A quick review on the LM358 op amp is it's an operational amplifier. It takes two input voltages and inverting and non-inverting and spits out an output. So guys, our first step is to connect pin eight to the positive rail and pin four to the negative rail. After that, we want to form a voltage divider with two 10 kilo ohm resistors. So right here at pin three, or the non-inverting input, we want to create a voltage divider because we want to drop down the voltage right there. So we take a 10 kilo ohm resistor and we put it on pin three. We put that to the negative rail and put the other one to the positive rail, just like this. and then pin eight to the positive rail. So next, after the voltage divider, our circuit needs a feedback resistor. So what a feedback resistor is, it's a high resistance resistor and it goes on one of the inputs and one of the outputs. It acts as negative feedback for this op amp. So we're going to take a one mega ohm resistor and place it between the inverting input and the output. So with this, we're going to place it on pin two, which is the inverting input. And we're going to place it also on pin one. We, for our LED to be sound reactive and turn off when there is no um, sound coming, we need something to drop the voltage. And a diode is a really good candidate to do that. This is because if current runs through a diode, what happens is the voltage drops a lot because of its characteristics, as you can see in the video in the description about diodes. So we're gonna place this cathode facing the output. So the cathode, is this little line right there. So we're gonna place it with, like this. So we place this cathode on the output and its anode out in the distance so you can connect it to an LED. So there, because this LM358 op amp, once it receives voltage divider and all the signals coming at it, it releases so much extra voltage that we do not need so this diode drops it as heat. Our next thing is that we need a capacitor to filter out excess noise that are coming from here so it doesn't get confused, this little op amp. So we're gonna use a 0.47 microfarad capacitor to do this. So we're gonna take a wire and place it on the inverting input or pin two, just like this. Then we're gonna take the capacitor and place one of its pins on that. Then we're gonna form a voltage divider using 10K resistors again. As we take the 10 kilo ohm resistor and place the other side of the capacitor, this one, one to the negative and one to the positive, just like this.
So if you may have noticed that I um, took out the 10 kilo ohm resistor for a minute and I put it back right there. So our next step is to take an LED and place its negative or its cathode on the diode and take its anode or its positive and connect it to the positive rail and use a resistor to do this. So you can use a 270 ohm resistor because this circuit works best on five volts of battery. Because if you use a nine volt battery supply, sometimes it doesn't pick up that much sound and it um, the LED stays on because of so much voltage and there's not enough to get dropped by this diode. Condenser microphone. If you don't know, a condenser microphone changes its capacitance based on the sound it receives. So for example, if it receives a lot of sound, the capacitance increases and gets sensed by the circuit. If there's no sound, then it won't get sensed by the circuit and then the LED will turn off. It's a wire connecting to the negative rail. So we connect the condenser mic's negative over there and it's positive to the side of the capacitor where the voltage divider was. So right over here. Now the sound and the signals can travel all around the circuit. So now our LM358 op amp circuit is complete. So how the circuit works is um, sound gets traveled into this condenser mic. The condenser mic is getting powered right here. Then the signal travels all the way over here and gets regulated and the voltage just gets smaller and gets better because of this voltage divider right here. After that, it travels out the node over here. You can follow this arrow. And then it travels to the 0.47 microfarad capacitor to get filtered. Then right here, it comes down here, the signal or the electrons or current. And let me just write that down. I stands for current, by the way. So then it goes right here and this acts as a feedback resistor for this op amp. So then it goes to the feedback and out in the output. And this inverting, um, non-inverting input actually, basically acts as just a, another output. So the comparators can have two inputs because it doesn't make sense if you have one input because then you just have that as an output. So this right here acts as another input. Then it goes right here and this diode drops the voltage by about three volts and then it goes to this LED to get power. 